Hey guys, sorry about the noise. Rob from the off-grid tiny house. Um, they're still working away over there. They got a lot of work to do apparently. Um, I've been working with my dad over here on the hinges because um, we're off today and he said, well, let's do that. And then we, what we want to do is take some of these, um, this lumber and screw it across to straighten all this up with some stakes so it's not got that warp in it but other than that it's not too bad under here uh, I'll show you guys that okay and we got one door done believe it or not it'll show you here's that door with the hinge and I, ha I actually got this this was uh, an old handle that he gave me and I'm gonna paint all these white to match and he's off to the hardware store to get some la four latches, one for top and bottom, and another hinge for that door. We tried, uh, oh, we did some excavating too because it's not quite level, but pretty large under here, guys, for storage, massive. And it'll cut down on my wind issue in the wintertime. So we'll close that up. Put the shovel in front. Oops. Well, if it even wants to hold it. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna paint all that stuff, and then we'll be good. Uh, here's the um, aluminum labels that I took off, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. There was one here, as you can tell. I only did the one coat of paint on it that day. And then I took some clear silicone and went over the, the holes because I don't want water coming in and rotting out the wood. It was actually already rotted from just neglect over time. But that's before I even owned this trailer. So I fixed that issue. Um, what else? Yeah, we're just kind of working away here. Um, and I should have enough paint in here to finish everything off, hopefully. And uh, it's kind of a cooler day today, but it is, I'm all in black today because it was cooler this morning. So I wanted to warm up, so I went wore all black. Um, I still gotta paint uh, this wood as well. See if I can sneak a peek here for you guys. Uh, yeah, they got their big uh, excavator over there doing their stuff. It's kind of freaky because past this bush, there's now a big drop off where there was erosion going on and they're repairing that issue right now. So that's a good thing. Don't need the tiny house going into the drink over here. <laughs> Forget it. Because I don't think I'd be able to get out since the uh, the biggest window is on this side. And that would hit the drink first, I would think. So, I'd be drowned. Um, other than that, though, guys, it's looking pretty nice. We're getting there. I got the one sheet, um, like I said, left over. And my landlord actually said, shit, well, if this door is um, uh, falling apart on me, which it is, because it's wet rot from since I, day one, since I got this trailer, I can replace it with that finally. So we'll see. But uh, just a little update for you guys. And uh, yeah, waiting for him to get back from the hardware store. Hey guys, Rob here from the Off Grid Tiny House. Just got back from a dollar store run, uh, Dollar Rama and Dollar Tree. Um, first, I got some prepping items. This is a 7x10 magnifying sheet. And uh, this was a buck 25. And the nice thing about it is I can cut it into smaller pieces. Magnifying stuff and uh, for cuts, levers, and then starting fires. 
needed some Br Brillo pads because I got a mason jar mug. So I gotta clean this out. Um, that was like a buck twenty-five. So is this. Clean that out, and luckily my caps actually fit because it is mason to mason jar. So that works. <clears throat> and right here, since my ooh that needs cleaning. <laughs> Um, the spigot leaks every once in a while, so I have these old chamois here, but I'm going to try this newer one, super absorbent, um, some kind of same deal. I'm just going to leave it folded like this and put it down on that tray, and hopefully it'll do a better job than these things. And then the final thing I got was a uh, crank light um, three bucks <sighs> lighting and flashing warning light all in one device no batteries needed one minute of cranking provides 25 minutes of flashlight I'll have to test that um, four LEDs and there's the crank handle there Multifunction flashlight. Yeah, we'll try this out. I'll do a test with this and uh, test everything else out here, guys. But uh, some nice little finds, and of course, I got my Shasta. Rob powered by Shasta, as uh, High Tech Guy 18 would say. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go try this stuff out, guys, and give you an update. Alrighty, guys. We got the latches on, and I got the handle on, and it works pretty neat. Just kick that up, pop that, and you got to kind of lift up on the handle for a tiny section. Whoops. Oops. My uh, hanger was actually blocking it. There you go. So... The next part is we're going to run some uh, supports across the bottom from uh, wood to wood uh, as far as we can. So, got to get this door open and in action. And uh, I brought some ABS uh, piping that's left over black stuff and um, yeah this one's right under the door and because this stuff has gone in guys I kind of have to lean over to get in off the ladder more it's not as close as where the legs would shoot underneath so it's th there's a bigger gap here so I'm not gonna hit myself on these um, on the hinges there and I gotta cut off some of these uh, tap guns because they won't go in any further. So, there's that. And these are the newer hinges. Uh, these are stainless. I may still paint them though. But the other ones definitely need to be painted badly. So, yeah, once it's reinforced here, guys, um, from end to end, we should be good. And then I just threw those signs in. So we're either going to use a combination of lumber or some black ABS pipe that's just scrap. Um, that was under my dad's trailer. So we can just screw that directly into the wood and then stake it to uh, even it up. Something like that. So we got all our gear ready. The br we got a nice breeze. Still dealing with the noise. And, uh, oh, good. That one's not spraying chemtrails. It's, uh, just regular. They disappear after. See, see that, guys? 
how the tail disappears. That's what normal aircraft produce. They don't produce crap that sits in the air for hours. Oh, whoa, I hear a, a helicopter. Wonder where that is. Sounds close. See if I can pick it up. I'm just waiting for my dad to get back anyway, so we'll see. Whoops, lots of activity today. busy at the homestead here guys but we're getting we're pretty much got it whipped for winter time I do have to go in and empty my um, traps from the bleach water because they'll be a little bit sitting in the traps each and I don't want that freezing so I gotta undo it catch it in buckets and then um, the actual storage tanks are have been um, passively drying since I let, let them wide open to the air. So, good to go. Yeah, and then once this is in, the stuff, it'll seal these, uh, see this, I got a gap kind of in the center um, of the tiny house. And then it kind of tail, it kind of gets tight down that way. It's just the way the ground is. It's not perfectly level. So once we get this sealed up, That'll eliminate even more airflow under here. But I'm not too worried because once it starts snowing and we get a build up of snow, the snow will actually seal itself off. So, all right guys, I'm gonna get back to work and then give you some updates on uh, what we get done here. Hey guys, I finally uh, turned the light off on my um, video camera. Something neat I discovered about this light. It's magnetic. <clears throat> There's two magnets on either side of the lens there. And <clears throat> there's two modes. There's flashlight mode. And uh, then there is uh, emergency beacon I would Im imagine and which is kind of neat um, I just cranked this for about a minute like it said it did have a charge in it because I did press the button beforehand before cranking and um, kind of something interesting I'll show you guys over in this room in the light I'll shut this off when you lift up on the handle there is, I don't know if these are, whoops, sorry about the zoom guys, some type of 9 volt or a DC plug or something, or is it just fasteners? I'm not sure guys. Um, so... We're going to give this guy a test tonight, see how good the lighting is. Um, it's still light out here, it's just afternoon. Um, I'm off of work for a little bit, but I'm just kind of playing with this new thing. So, and then I have the um, magnetic um, sheet, and I think I'm going to be cutting that into some piece, smaller pieces and you can get quite a few little um, magnifiers off of one sheet for bug out bags that's an excellent deal and that's some it's not it's pretty sturdy stuff so pretty neat finds guys and uh, uh, that's it for now alright guys sorry I'm not on the tripod or anything but just going to show off what we did. We took these uh, scrap pieces of ABS and we ran them across the bottom, screwed through them and into the wood. This one behind it's just an extra one. And then we're going to run a piece across the top of lumber 
so the lumber doesn't rot. It's up off off the ground. And uh, then we'll screw from the outside into the plastic and that should hold everything. And I even screwed into the beam. So we got an ongoing uh, thing over here. My dad just left to go drink. His favorite pastime. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna jump up in the trailer here and shoot another video. So we're getting there guys, slowly but surely. Taking our time. <laughs>